New tonight, he went to the airport with the intention to kill. That's what the FBI is saying tonight about the man accused of shooting and killing five people in Florida. Investigators say Esteban Santiago injured another six people when he opened fire near the baggage claim in Fort Lauderdale. And as, as Sarah Rosario reports, they aren't ruling out terrorism as a possible motive behind the attack. The images, the sounds. That kind of blood curling scream as people were trapped. Widespread panic as passengers at the Fort Lauderdale airport run for their lives. And he's just randomly, you know, point and shoot, point and shoot uh, anyone that was in his line of firing. The bullets killed five people and injured six others before alleged gunman Esteban Santiago ran out of ammunition and surrendered to police. We have not identified any triggers that would have caused this attack. But again, it's very early in the investigation and we're pursuing all angles. Everything from mental instability to an act of terror. Santiago's family members told police he was getting mental health treatment in Alaska after reportedly hearing voices. In November, he walked into an FBI office telling agents the government was recruiting him to ISIS. There have been concerns raised about why Mr. Santiago was not placed on a no-fly list. I want to be clear, during our initial investigation, we found no ties to terrorism. It also calls to question guns on planes. The law allows checked guns and ammunition as long as it's unloaded and locked in a hard-sided container. With several still in the hospital, the focus now is safety and building trust. We're a strong and resilient state. Uh, we're not going to let attacks like this tear us apart. After yet another mass shooting, disturbingly becoming all too common. Sarah Rosario, NBC News. We're told that three of the victims are in intensive care tonight. Santiago, meanwhile, will appear in court for the first time on Monday. A Noblesville couple was at that airport when the shooting started. You can read their account of what happened on our website tonight. Just check out this story on WTHR.com. And if you're planning you'll definitely want to check your flight status before heading to the airport. We have seen some flights to and from Fort Lauderdale canceled or delayed today here in Indianapolis. So best to check that before you leave.